Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and we are finally here, the moment of truth. Now, in the United States, it is election day, and so a lot there's a lot of confluence here, I think it's safe to say. How many chart analysts have I been highlighting uh, in, the, in the recent weeks and months uh, indicating, hey, XRP, it's been trading for literally years on end within a symmetrical triangle. We're reaching the apex. This thing's got to go. And how many analysts have pointed out, rightfully so, that historically, and I'll show you some charts as we get into the video, historically, when you see breakouts in these four-year cycles, it does come after uh, after these elections. And, and frankly, that's, that's true for the stock market as well. You know, set aside the performance that you see in election years in the stock market, which actually is a little bit below average typically, the amount of movement you see in the fourth quarter after uh, the, the market figures out uh, who's in charge, that's when money starts pouring in, and that's when you see a, a notable uptick historically. And so this uh, this year, admit, of course, it's a little bit of an outlier in that sense. Uh, not been so bad for stocks or crypto, frankly. But we have been in this sideways pattern for over half a year in crypto. But these markets do tend to move in tandem. So this would be the moment of truth. With the, once this election is out of the way, and this, this is the daily election, uh, at any moment we could see dramatic moves. Now, of course, there's caveats to that. If we're going to have an ultimately a contested election and it's going to be days or weeks, who knows, before uh, the market has its answer, uh, that would obviously impact things. But if there's a big enough margin, regardless of who wins, uh, at least the market, whatever whatever the reaction will be uh, initially, at least the market will know uh, how how to allocate funds based on what they're expecting from uh, from the incoming leadership. Uh, but before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so I actually just got back home uh, from voting just a bit ago as I record this. It is 5.23 p.m. Central Time, which is my time zone here in the good old Midwest of the United States. And it is Tuesday, November 5th, 2024, Election Day for us here in the United States. Uh, we have seen some volatility, that's for sure. XRP at 51.3 cents, Bitcoin at 69,569 bucks. Uh, we actually did see a burst earlier, though. Uh, Bitcoin briefly above 70,000, got as high as $70,400. Um, XRP as high as 51.8 cents. Uh, here we have the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 70 out of 100. It'll be interesting to see what this updates to, but uh, updates just once every 24 hours, so we got another 36 minutes before that happens. But the market is currently agreed. I wouldn't expect some sort of massive change. Uh, there's this post from on-chain analytics firm Santiment. Bitcoin has jumped back above $70,000 prior to U.S. election results coming in later today. Uh, let's pause and say, maybe we'll have the results. To, I, oh, God, I hope we do. I hope we have the answer. To, I hope there's a big enough margin, whoever wins, that we don't have to worry about this and drag this thing out. Um, anyway, then he says, uh, several meme coins and AI slash big data altcoins like Doge, Shib, Fet, Bonk, and Pop are also spiking. The S&P 500 is also up big as well, which is a strong sign of later November growth. Now, folks, uh, that is in line with historic precedent, what they're citing there, uh, th their expectation of bigger things in the S&P 500 in, in this month. That It's normal to expect that, and in an election year, certainly. Um, I'm very curious to see how Q4 wraps up, but that's important, uh, even if you're not as interested in, uh, you know, investing in traditional legacy finance type things, which I totally get. Um, you know, I still do because I, I care about diversification, but obviously way more excited about crypto. That's where the, the, the much greater opportunity is. But the asset classes move in tandem. Uh, here we have a post from uh, Nijin Tropic, and of course this account is run by the co-founders of on-chain analytics firm Glassnode. And they simply wrote, don't fear short-term volatility. Since July, the first week of each month has been bearish, causing corrections, but has been followed by an upward trend in the next weeks. The U.S. elections could bring volatility that would serve as a pivot for Bitcoin to finally break its all-time high. <laughs> Wouldn't mind seeing a new all-time high because, yeah, we hit one earlier this year, uh, ultimately peaking in, in March, but... Uh, I have a hunch that we're going to see a greater move to the upside based on historic precedent. In fact, multiple analysts have pointed this out, and it's worth, especially on today, you know, the election day, it is worth pointing this out. Uh, chart analyst Jelly shared this and wrote, The market generally doesn't care who's in the White House. Bitcoin tends to pump for months following the election, regardless of outcome, 
send it higher. And this is true. And so here you can see he's pointed out, uh, going back to the inception of this entire technology in crypto asset class, showing what happens after U.S. presidential elections. It, but you do see a move to the upside. Historically, that's true. It's happened every single time. If it doesn't this time, that would be the first time in history. I'm guessing that this time will not be different, which is why this is exciting. That's why I started out the video by saying this is the moment of truth. Is history going to repeat and we see a continuation for the asset class to the upside? In which case, get ready if you're an XRP holder, because my God, this thing's been suppressed for so long. Uh, or is it just not going to? Well, I think what's most probable it is. And I don't think ultimately the market's going to care that much. Even if there's a negative reaction, uh, you know, initially, the market sells off if they don't like whatever the result is. In th that's an if, even if it does that. Uh, fine, but it doesn't mean that it would keep doing that forever. There'd probably be a short-term thing, and then at least the market would know what to expect, like I said earlier in the video, going forward, and there's still, you still certainly expect to see an influx of liquidity, and money's got to get invested somewhere. So number go up, ultimately, either way. Now, of course, if you're pro-crypto, and you are if you're listening to this, obviously, um, I understand that there is one candidate here, and if that particular candidate wins the presidency, it's going to be, it's going to be resulting in some trouble for pro, pro crypto people, and in, in all likelihood, that's uh, it's about a hundred percent chance. But even even though that would be the case, and there'd be greater battles to be fought, fought as a result of this, it will not directionally change things. We'll still see the the market trend to the upside. It's just there's going to be more legal battles, so on and so forth, less money flowing in perhaps than other would have, but. It's not going to ruin the opportunity for another euphoric cycle. I mean, it's it's not like right now we're still in the status quo. So even if the worst case scenario there were to happen for for crypto people, it what do you think we had four years ago? <laughs> you know, what do you think we had four years before that? So it'll still be good for us. But yes, of course, if having somebody in charge that's genuinely pro crypto, obviously that's better. I'm just saying, don't think for a moment it's going to ruin our opportunity. Absolutely not. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's also this post from chart analyst Mustache. Bitcoin, uh, election day in the U.S. Every four years, Bitcoin has entered the final wave of the bull market after the elections. 2012, 2016, 2020. 2024, once again, question mark. I hope you are as excited as I am. Yes, I am as excited as you are, if not more. <laughs> because this is just true. And he shared a, a, a chart here indicating the same thing. After the election, money flow in. That is how it's been every four years, unless you think this time is different. So yes, buckle up. They're, I'm genuinely excited. This is the most excited I've ever been as an XRP holder. It has been so suppressed. I just, I just, you pick a metric and you know, like the way that XRP is teed up, any moment where you've had indicators even close to where it is right now, it is just rocketed. So to think that's not going to happen this time, I mean, okay, maybe, because I'm not going to, look, I'm not making a price prediction, but... I doubt it. I doubt we're going to be disappointed here. You know, if we're going to have a proper alt season, I still firmly believe we'll ultimately see a new all-time high for XRP, price discovery, the whole nine yards. We'll find out together, though, folks. There's this post from Chart Analyst Credible Crypto. He said, boom, a beautiful move last night from our key level. This is what I wanted to see. And he was talking about this. I shared it in a video literally yesterday. It's a Bitcoin USD chart here on the screen here. And we did get back above that $70,000 level. That's what he was talking about when he shared this this morning. And so you can see, broadly speaking, with these uh, lines here, what he's expecting. And ultimately, in the short term, yes, he does think that this is a very reasonable, realistic uh, path, uh, ultimately new all-time high for Bitcoin. He certainly hasn't ruled out uh, one final major wash to the downside, even still uh, getting into the upper 40,000s. He's the only analyst, the analyst I follow that uh, thinks that's on the table. Uh, but he's great at short-term price analysis and he's among the best out there so i'm not going to count him out <laughs> there's a reason he's got the massive following that he has it is well deserved uh, there's also this post from stuff is crypto talking about xrp he shared xrp usd chart he said xrp is repeatedly testing key resistance each test weakens it with sharply declining volume a big move could be around the corner yeah so that is something that's true i'm not a chart analyst i don't want to be one but i do know that as volume ultimately decreases, that's what precedes a break directionally, a big move, whether to the downside or the upside. And given that we're in a bull market, I'm guessing, for a little for funsies guess here, that's probably going to be a move to the upside, not the downside. I think that's a fair guess right here. But it is true. I mean, for years, you can see XRP 
uh, you know, bumping up against that upper trend line here. What do you think happens next? I've got, I've got my suspicions, you know. <laughs> he also shared this chart. It's another XRP USD chart just this morning. It says XRP's price pattern is aligning with historic election cycles, signaling potential breakout. With price compression reaching critical levels, a major move could be on the horizon. Right. So the reason I wanted to highlight this is because, obviously, as I cited a minute ago, Bitcoin, of course, crypto market, it does take off historically after U.S. elections. The timing does line up. But I highlight this specifically because XRP is part of that. And so he's saying the same thing, but he's specifically saying this is true of XRP. And it is. So that's, again, why I started out the video saying this is the moment of truth, whether it's literally today or tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now. I'm just saying this is when we find out. This is roughly the period when we find out. And I think history is going to rhyme with itself, which means number go up. Very In a very big way would be my expectation. And as that's happening, there also, uh, if you've been paying attention for XRP priced against ETH, and XRP price against Bitcoin, it's been looking pretty good. Here you have Crypto Insight UK highlighting XRP against ETH, and he wrote, I would suggest uh, XRP ETH bottom is in. Bullish divergence forming on the low within the oversold area on the four-hour RSI. Potential inverse head and shoulders bottom forming. Higher low put in, followed by a lower time frame break in structure. Yeah, so for most of the last several months, XRP has substantially outperformed ETH, and I certainly expect that XRP will uh, prove into a really dramatically outperformed ETH for this market cycle. Just, it's, XRP is just so undervalued at this point. It's just my humble opinion. And, and so, you know, there's a little bit of a pullback uh, kind of recently, but that's because it doesn't go up in a straight line. I just, I don't think it's going to matter. And it's just exciting knowing, especially, you know, two cycles ago, XRP and ETH fighting for that number two spot. It's not outside of the realm of possibility we could see that again. It just seems impossible when there's this, this big a gap in terms of, even if you just look at market cap between XRP and ETH, people see the disparity numbers like, oh, come on, that's way too much. You're telling me it's going to catch up? Well, I'm not predicting that, but what I am saying is that gaps like that close quickly when you have euphoria. My God, money flowing in? Yes. People don't want something when it's cheap and you know, there's not as much attention around it, but then when you get in you, you fork markets and uh, people see numbers going up, then liquidity begets liquidity, so on and so forth, and people want to pay more because they feel validated in doing so. It's scary when something's moving down or sideways for a long time to invest in it. That's how humans feel. So yeah, it is true. Fewer people want XRP at about 50 cents than will want it if it's to hit like $10, for example. That would There would be more people wanting it when it costs more. Yes, it sounds stupid, and it is. That's how humans respond. I'm counting on people continuing to behave like people. That's part of my strategy. There's also this post from Chart Analyst Z, Greg Crypto, XRP USD chart. He wrote, XRP, just do it. And you can see why. Obviously, he's got kind of like a little uh, swoosh. Kind of looks like, a, you know, something reminiscent of Nike. Um, anyway, so this is the $1.10 ignition stage. Key targets, $13, if you measure logarithmically. Uh, and then $6.40 non-logarithmic measured move. In both scenarios, $1.10 is our launch pad. Once we get a solid weekly close above $1.10 and confirm it as strong support, we can say goodbye to the $1 mark for good. Yeah, so you know what I think I might do in a, in a future video, maybe my next video? I would like to take a look at historic snapshots and just remind everybody of how quickly this does happen. So, you know, to what degree are, you know, are we quickly going to get to that level that he said in there, $1.10? We'll, we'll find out together, but what... Once things get hot, like maybe even if it does take a week or two or three, who knows? Like once it does start moving that direction, you you get into these these points where you could move up by like a dollar in close to a day. Like it, like that type of stuff absolutely can happen. Uh, it just seems impossible before it's happening, but that's just a silly way of looking at it. You just got to look at the past to see, no, XRP has tr been treated in that way, just like a ton of other crypto. Like it's, We're here for the volatility, right? That's the purpose of investing, is it not? So anyway, I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to getting this selection behind us, whatever the outcome is. We've all got our own preferences, whatever. I'm going to leave it at that. I just want it done. I want the market to know what the outcome is so that we can just move forward. I'm optimistic. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.